When it comes to having a clear skin, I find treating dark spots and hyperpigmentation so difficult. And to me, getting rid of acne isn't really the problem. That's not where the problem lies. The big challenge has always been fading dark spots and hyperpigmentation caused by acne. Now, I've taken time to study my skin and how it responds to different skincare ingredients that claim to fade pigmentation. And I'm here to tell you all about it today. Well, hello everybody and welcome back for another video. My name is IJ. If you're new here, please do well to hit the subscribe button and if you're interested in this topic please like this video and keep watching The biggest mistake that most people make when it comes to treating pigmentation is not using the right product that targets that specific type of pigmentation. Even if the product is an antioxidant, an exfoliant or a skin cell renewing agent, it still does not guarantee results. They might contribute a little bit, but to effectively fade your dark spots and hyperpigmentation, you must first understand the type of hyperpigmentation you're dealing with and the appropriate skincare ingredient that targets that specific pigmentation. As a black person or a person of color, you cannot completely get rid of pigmentation. As long as as you have melanin you are bound to having hyperpigmentation the best thing you can do is use skincare actives to fade the appearance of the pigmentation or to fade the pigmentation but if trauma occurs on your skin maybe trauma caused by something like acne that pigmentation is likely to reoccur and that's why you're advised to wear your sunscreen every day to help prevent uv rays from facilitating the appearance of melanin because uv rays excites your melanin especially when trauma occurs on your skin now there are three major types of hyperpigmentation and they all occur on different layers of the skin so there are three layers of the skin you have your first layer which is your epidermis the second layer or the mid layer which is your dermis and the inner layer which is your hypodermis so I'll be talking about different types of hyperpigmentation that occurs on all these three layers of the skin and I'll be telling you the best skincare ingredients to target that specific type of pigmentation so the first one we have is sunspots and this usually occurs on the surface level which is the skin's epidermis the first layer of your skin basically what you can see that's the layer where you have your skin's barrier. So sunspots are caused by sun. UV rays tend to sensitize your skin and facilitate or excite excessive melanin production. UV rays release free radicals that break down collagen on your skin. When there is a breakdown of collagen on your skin, you're most likely to have sunspots. So the best skincare ingredients to use when dealing with sunspots is vitamin C and glutathione. With vitamin C and glutathione, you can also add in some alpha hydroxy acids, which are glycolic acid, mandelic acid, or lactic acid. But mostly for pigmentation caused by sun, antioxidants like vitamin C and glutathione is one of the best skincare ingredients to use to tackle pigmentation caused by sunspots. So the second type of pigmentation is post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. And this usually occurs in the mid layer of your skin, which is your dermis. This runs a little bit deeper than the epidermis. These are basically dark spots and hyperpigmentation caused by acne. So when you have acne and the acne heals, you're most likely to have dark spots. So dark spots and hyperpigmentation caused by acne is called post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. And the best skincare ingredients to fade post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation is niacinamide. Constantly using niacinamide and also vitamin A. With vitamin A, you have your retinoids, like your retinoic acids, like your retinol, tretinoin, or adapalene gel. And you can also combine some beta hydroxy acids and alpha hydroxy acids. Beta hydroxy acid like salicylic acid that can help to exfoliate your pores which is where the foundation of the acne starts from and also alpha hydroxy acids which are glycolic acid mandelic acid and lactic acid now with fading pigmentation on your epidermis and your dermis which is your first and your second layer you want to focus on increasing collagen production and these skincare ingredients that we've mentioned like vitamin c glutathione niacinamide varieties of vitamin a 
alpha hydroxy acid and beta hydroxy acid these skincare ingredients tend to boost collagen production that way you're going to reduce the appearance of dark spots and hyperpigmentation now the third and final type of pigmentation is melasma and this occurs in the deeper layer of the skin which is your skin's hypodermis although this appears and is visible on the surface layer of the skin it actually runs deeper into the skin it runs deeper than sunspots and post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation because your skin's dermis is like the deepest layer of your skin so this type of hyperpigmentation is a bit more difficult to treat if you're using antioxidants and exfoliants you might not be able to effectively fade this type of pigmentation because it runs deeper into the skin and all the other skincare ingredients that i've mentioned they work on surface level so if you're using that as someone who has melasma you might not be able to completely fade your pigmentation even if you have post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation if you're using vitamin c alone you might not be able to tackle it you need niacinamide and retinoic acids which runs a little bit deeper into the skin to repair and renew skin cells so the same thing goes for melasma if you have melasma using other skincare ingredients might not help to effectively fade your pigmentation. The proper skincare ingredient to effectively fade melasma is azelic acid and a proper amount of tranexamic acid. This is going to help run deep into the skin and fade your pigmentation because melasma as a pigmentation occurs due to hormonal changes facilitated by genetics and also childbearing. So it runs deeper into the skin. So you need skincare ingredients that penetrate deeper that works deeper into the skin to help fade pigmentation like melasma but if you're having melasma that doesn't mean you cannot use other skincare ingredients that i've mentioned in this video you can combine them or incorporate them in your skincare routine but make it tailored to the type of pigmentation that you're having so that you don't end up constantly investing and using a skincare ingredient that will not give you results so these are the ways to effectively fade dark spots and hyperpigmentation and in all these do not forget to wear your sunscreen every day because wearing your sunscreen is what is going to prevent excessive melanin production and protect your skin while giving those skincare actives time to work so i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i hope it was helpful as always please don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already and also do well to share this video to people you care about also follow me on my socials the links are always in the description box below thank you so much for watching i'll be seeing you in my next one bye See